graduates and guests, can I please ask you to stand for the entrance of the academic procession? <laughs> Thank you. Please be seated. Good afternoon. I am Professor Amalia Diorio and I am the Pro Vice Chancellor Educational Partnerships at La Trobe University. And I am absolutely delighted to be here on this very, very special occasion. On behalf of La Trobe University, I would like to acknowledge and welcome some special guests, but also some very, very good friends of ours from the Singapore Institute of Management. Uh, Professor uh, Wei Kwok Ki, Provost. Vice Provost, Dr. Timothy Chan. Head of Program, Dr. Eunice Tan. And Assistant Director, Higher Education, Miss Connie Chow. As I said, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all here today and it's wonderful to see so many of our students graduating this afternoon. Graduations are the high point of the university calendar. They are a time to celebrate the achievements of you, our graduates, your academic expertise, your personal development, and your experiences as part of the La Trobe community. Even though you studied with our very good partner here, Singapore Institute of Management. And on such a momentous occasion, it's expected that you'll be feeling many different emotions. Pride, relief, excitement and joy. And I think we all uh, can relate to those mixed emotions. However, whatever emotions you're feeling today, I encourage you to reflect on this very special day and to hold it in your memories as one of life's best moments and the beginning of the next chapter in your lives. This is a time of great potential and choice for you. In today's world, it's very common to change careers several times and during your working life. And there will be many opportunities to try and even move between sectors and industries. So as La Trobe alumni, you can see that your, you can see your networks, your technical skills and your passion will help you to develop a career that is founded in innovation and discovery. The La Trobe community will be with you every step of, of the way to help you find success. And we already have a quite a number of alumni here in Singapore. I hope you've all had a very rewarding experience as La Trobe students and that you'll look back fondly on your time, the friends you've made, the teachers who have inspired you and the skills and confidence that you have gained. So once again, I offer my heartfelt congratulations to you all. I wish you all the very best as you set out on this new journey, on in, in this new chapter of your lives to shape your future. 
I now welcome Professor Wee Wei Kwok Ki, Provost, to deliver the occasional address. Professor Amalia B. Laurier, Pro Vice Chancellor, Education Partnership, Natro University. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and welcome to the SIM Latro University graduation ceremony. First of all, I would like to offer my heartiest congratulations to all our graduates. It is my privilege to witness this important milestone in your life together with your families and loved ones who are immensely proud of you. It wasn't an easy journey, but each of you have demonstrated perseverance and commitment to your academic goals, allowing you to triumph over the challenges and graduate today. This significant achievement could not have been possible without the support of your loved one, so do take a, mo do take a moment to thank them later on. This year marked the six fruitful years of partnership with La Trobe University, which ran among the world's top 50 for international students by the QS World University Ranking 2023. Our mutual dedication to empowering learners with essential skill and practical experience for success in the evolving landscape of work enhances our collective impact on students. In fact, the overall employment rate for SIM Natural University graduates are 91% in 2022 and 94% in 2023. This shows our graduates are well sought after uh, post-pandemic. Today, you will be joining over 240,000 Latro alumni globally, most of whom have made their mark on the world, and we are confident that you will too. Graduates, you are entering the industry at a unique time in history. The tourism and event landscape has undergone significant changes in recent years. The industry is highly volatile, but this also pleasant infinite emerging opp uh, opportunity and possibilities. For example, when cross-border traveling was restricted during pandemic, tour company looked inwards and promote local attractions, which led to the rise of domestic tourism. When the restriction was lifted, tourists flocked back to the popular destinations such as Phuket, and that led to environmental degradations due to over-tourism. That led to the rise of ecotourism, a new travel experience that promotes responsible traveling while fostering a greater appreciation of our natural habitat. Rapid technological advancement also disrupted traditional travel pattern, but that led to an enhanced travel experiences as businesses adopt emerging technology and contactless solutions. It also advanced the way events used to be held, with many adopting a hybrid mood, a hybrid format of in-person or online events expanding the reach of a solely physical events achieved in the past. What the above example demonstrates is a reminder for us to embrace challenges and opportunity and keep an open mind to continuously learn, adapt and innovate. Graduates, today the ceremony does not mark the end of your learning journey but only the beginning of a lifelong learning process. The Singapore government has placed a heavy emphasis on upskilling and reskilling throughout one's career so that our local workforce can remain competitive and stay ahead of the curve. Likewise, I hope that each of you will see the value and the importance of lifelong learning 
and commit to continuously upgrade your skill and knowledge. At SIM, we offer an extensive range of micro-credential, professional development, and postgraduate courses. So do keep a lookout for our programs and courses. We look forward to support you in your professional journey, even after graduation, so that you can learn for life and try for life. As you approach the starting line of your career, remember that you have more than what it takes to flourish and thrive in your chosen career path. You will face challenges in your career, but see them as a stepping stone to success. We are confident in your ability to achieve that which you had set yourself, uh, set your heart out to do. So go for embrace a growth mindset, make your mark on the world. Once again, congratulations to all graduates and we wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Wei, for delivering that uh, inspirational occasional address. Now, graduates, can, could you please stand? So as the Provost Chancellor Educational Partnerships at La Trobe University, I certify that the candidates presented have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for the award of their degrees and therefore are entitled to these awards. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I am delighted to present the degrees for which you are qualified. Please be seated. I now call upon Isabel Ann to present the graduates. Professor Diorio, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following awards from the La Trobe Business School. Bachelor of Business Event Management, She Yi Eng Shit Yi. Chin Wen Chi. <laughs> Ilin Kwek Shue Ling. <laughs> Hao Shue En Chelsea. Kyu Yong Chi <laughs> Lim Sin Ying Nicole Nuku Az Shaira Binti Muhammad Asman <laughs> Bachelor of Business, Tourism and Hospitality, Ang Yue Liz. Salin Te Kai Sing <laughs> Chan Si Yen Tiffany <laughs> Chan Klein
Chua Wei Xuan. Chua Chi Yu. Dasel Simha. Joanne Villanueva Benedict. Lau Lai Man. Liao Xin Si. Liu Gui Ting. Luk Kang Ting, Marilyn. Minog Josephine. Minok Sarah. <laughs> Nu Sophia Binti Wahid. <laughs> Renee Je Dai Xuan. Sean Rambayu Budiman. <laughs> Tan Hui Yi Celestin. <laughs> Tan Chia Singh. Tan Xiao Rong. Tae Kai Wen Kelvin. Tae Suet Ling. Teo Cheng Kiet. Teo Hui Tsu. Trisha Lim Le Tsia. Vo Hien Tao. <coughs> Willie. <coughs> Winnie Chiu Wen Tsing. Professor Diorio, that concludes the presentation of graduates. I would like to present the student prizes. 
it is a special honor to be able to showcase how dedicated and successful our current students are. I present the students receiving the 2023 Top Student Award, awarded for outstanding academic achievement in the Bachelor of Business Event Management program, Professor Diorio, I present to you Chai Eng Shit Yi. Awarded for Outstanding Academic Achievement in the Bachelor of Business, Tourism and Hospitality Programme, Professor Diorio, I present to you Tan Xiao Rong. Tan Xiao Rong is also speaking on behalf of today's graduates. I now invite Xiao Rong to the lectern to deliver her address. <laughs> Professor Amalia, DEORO AM, Pro Vice Chancellor, Educational Partnerships, La Trobe University. Professor Wei Kuat Kui, Provost SIM. Distinguished guests, Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today we are all gathered here to celebrate a milestone in our academic journey. Ready to embark on new adventures and shape the future we each desire. It is indeed my great honor to be standing here as the valedictorian of this remarkable graduating batch. While preparing this speech, I realized that today isn't just a celebration of the milestone, but also a celebration of our memories and experiences made. It's a moment to look back and acknowledge our efforts of everyone here, especially us graduates, that have led to today's achievement and recognition. Speaking of memories, uh, it brings me back to the start of our journey, where we were all introduced to one another virtually. So now I have a handful of friends who are cheering me on as I embark on the next phase of adulthood. They start with me through lectures and assignments which are my teammates, um, and tolerating how particular I am with when it comes to formatting of assignments. Um, I would be very particular about each slide, the design, the formatting, and I'm grateful for them to have met them throughout this academic journey. So uh, one more core memory I would like to share is staying back in school at least twice a week after lessons, overthinking a simple essay question and questioning my lecturers profusely, uh, only to find out that we overcomplicated things. Maybe it's just me being an overthinker, um, but regardless, these pay efforts paid off and led us to today's celebration. Bittersweet memories aside, all of us graduates uh, wouldn't be sitting here and achieve this milestone without the blood, sweat, and tears of our lecturers. Shout out to Ms. Jessica and Mr. Jason for answering our many questions, um, be it funny ones or not, and providing their best feedback and guidance to ensure that we don't stray alone on this academic journey. To wrap up this speech, um, I wish all graduates gathered today a, a future deeply hoped for. It may be intimidating facing this new stage of life, but always remind yourself that um, since you have achieved this milestone today, it means that you are capable of many more things in your life. So here's a quote I live by. Um, live for yourself and always prioritize your happiness. All the best. <laughs> Wasn't that inspirational? My name's Dr. Geraldine Kennett. I'm the Associate Dean for Academic Partnerships at La Trobe Business School. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge Xiong, uh, Xiong's uh, presentation today um, and thank you again for giving us an inspiring speech. The thing that really stood out for me was her perfection. Maybe she inspired perfection in others as well, and also her commitment to her own personal well-being. So let's put our hands together again um, and <laughs> thank Xiao Long.
La Trobe University's relationship with Singapore Institute for Management was launched in 2018 and we take great pride in being part of this partnership. It's a testament to the fantastic benefits that arise when two nations exchange ideas. SIM is recognised in the region for its focus on developing work and industry skills for its graduates. I congratulate SIM on their 60th anniversary this year and the wonderful impact that this institution has had on to close to 200,000 graduates since its establishment in 1964. Latrobe Business School academics are dedicated to delivering high quality teaching at SIM um, and actively participating in global dialogue of ideas with SIM academics. And together we've made um, a difference and uh, we're making some incredible gains in this area. Since 2018, we've celebrated 211 graduates from the program. And this semester, we look forward to welcoming our 11th cohort of students. I think um, I'd like to now um, turn our attention to the family and friends who have joined us here today. I want to offer my gratitude and thank you for your investment uh, in our graduates. Um, as a sign of respect and thanks, I would like all of our graduates here today to stand, take a look at your supporters and doff your cap to say thank you to your supporters. Okay, all together, <laughs> doff. Okay, you can take a seat now. Now it's the supporter's turn, okay? <laughs> so this is, your, as supporters, this is your final official opportunity to show your graduate how proud you are of them. So don't be embarrassed. Um, I want to hear very loud cheering and clapping on the count of three, okay? So here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> There's a few fans out there. <laughs> and fantastic energy. Uh, it's a brilliant way to end uh, today's formalities. I want to say thank you to everyone involved in putting together today's ceremony. Today truly is a day of celebration. Graduates, in recognition of your new status within the university community, you are now invited to listen, to join the academic procession as it leaves the venue. So everyone, please stand. <laughs> 